falling, just as biblical prophecy said would happen at this time. The reason for this dramatic reversal are worth studying into. Then they give you a, a, a list uh, starting from like 1750 to uh, uh, modern times. And uh, one of the main things is, is it says debt. The borrower is servant to the lender, which is in the scriptures. Uh, and the U.S. will be no different. Even by the more popular metric, the ratio of debt to a country's GDP. The U.S. is doing poorly as this uh, chart shows red. Gross U.S. debt continues at unprecedented levels and is projected to reach almost $20 trillion by 2015. Uh, in the, that's in the black. So basically, if, if you have a country whose GDP is equal to their debt, how can you make any money or, 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 or uh, 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 build you know, uh, any type of uh, um, fund or hedge if you are not, not making any money? All the money you're making is going right into the, the, to the debt. So how can you stand as a power? And how can you pay for, for things, you know, whether it be merchandise or the military or anything else on the planet? You know, if, you, if, you, if your GDP is the same as your, uh, um, the money that, 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 uh, that, you, that you are in debt to. All right? Then it says labor. Or more, or, or as more people accept government subsidy, the labor force has steadily declined from 67.2% of the population 16 and over in 1998 to 62.8% in 2013. So basically jobs out there are in decline. You have these people that are that are going to the college and they they're uh, um they're uh, graduating from college and that they don't have a pot to piss in basically. You know because they're in debt most the majority of them are in debt $120,000 in debt for four, for 4 years of college. And they can't find work. They got to work at McDonald's. And the majority of them are, are or a lot of them are, are uh, unemployed. And it, like I said, it gives you a chart, you know, different timelines and different things that happen uh, going back to the uh, beginning of America and, and why it's in decline. They got a scripture real quick. This is Isaiah uh, 19 and um, started to the 14th verse. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, in the midst of America, and they have caused Egypt, America, to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And that's what this country looks like right now to the rest of the world, to the rest of the people of the world that are waking up, all right? Um, uh, 15, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, America, uh, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. 16, and that day shall Egypt, America, be like unto woman, and it shall be afraid, uh, and the fear of, and I'm sorry, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. All right? 17, and the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Remember, Egypt is America. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. So the Lord is bringing judgment against this place, as we've been saying, okay? Yeah, because uh, Elder Ramla mentioned oh, about... I'm sorry, I, I got to say this before I forget, because it came to me and it left, and it, came, it just came back to me, okay. and, I, and, I, and I heard about it on the news this morning at the CDC. That there's an anthrax break a breakout. What do you call it, a breakout? I guess you call it a breakout. Uh, what well, I'm saying it's an outbreak, 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 breakout, outbreak. Mm -hmm. There's an anthrax anthrax outbreak in the C CDC mm -hmm. of people that work up in there. I believe if you mm -hmm. Google it, put it up in there. And I believe it's either uh, I think it was like eighty something people, and they said it was because somebody made a mistake. That wasn't no mistake, man. And they got these people that work up in there that supposedly are affected by the anthrax. And uh, right here, I got something called uh, West Africa Ebola pandemic. And that's been around, that's coming back. Unclean meats. Yeah, because these devils, they, they take these different uh, uh, um, um, uh, viruses and what they do is they freeze them. And then they, they experiment with them, you know, and they, they splice them and they, they uh, 
they make hybrids of these of these uh, different viruses because they wanted us to pick up a package, you know, some uh, goddamn Ebola, you know, to, to transport it to a, a, a certain location. We was like, man, I ain't, have, I ain't taking that shit. You crazy? It says, West Africa's Ebola pandemic unclean meats. On May 3, health authorities in Guinea reported that the country has seen 231 Ebola infections, including 155 fatalities since February. The highly contagious Ebola virus spread through direct contact with infected people, infected blood and bodily fluids, and environments contaminated by such fluids. Ebola outbreaks have a case fatality rate of up to 90%, and recuperating patients may still spread the disease through bodily secretions up to seven weeks after recovery. In its initial stages, Ebola shuts down the victim's immune system and causes fever, headaches, muscle, pain, and weakness. In its advanced stages, it causes vomiting, diarrhea, organ failure, and both internal and external bleeding. Since it was discovered in 1976, Ebola has killed more than 1,500 people. It has no known cure. The BBC reported that the United States government funds research for a cure mostly out of fear of bioterrorism. The them, uh, the them the motherfuckers that created this shit, man. Why do you think they have a uh, World Health uh, Organization, man? The WHO and the CDC. And the CDC is under the uh, uh, authority of the uh, WHO, man. Because they create these goddamn uh, viruses, man. And they, ha and they put it on lockdown, man. They showed you that in that movie Contagion, man. Yeah, then they... Uh, FDA... You don't know what the hell they put in the foods, man. The this man is using everything to fulfill the uh, that uh, uh, Georgia Guidestone Georgia uh, prophecy, man, that they put that R.C. Christensen put together, man. Okay. And everybody's walking up and down like nothing, nothing's going to happen, man, because you people are blind, you're dumb, you got the wool pull, up, pull over your eye, man, and the most I did it, man. The Lord's getting ready to do something, man. The most I, the most I putting the spirit on this devil to, because we're coming to the end of this thing, man. Coming to the end. The, the, hey, look, the most High's, he's pushing the prophecies now. All the prophecies are fulfilled except for a couple major prophecies: the mark of the beast being being uh, fully implemented, and the, and the, and the war against Iran, at which which would uh, escalate into a world war, World War Three. So like I said, the people that can't get it just keep walking. Don't waste time. Most of the time I go on the comment board, man, I went, there's one comment I made. This black bitch came and made a, a whole fucking seven paragraphs of, based on what I said. And I read this shit. And I was going to bust it, man. I ain't going to say nothing, man. I said, I'm, going, I'm just wasting my time. That's a damn woman. And any time a woman makes a comment, man, when you read it, it's fucking stupid as hell, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You shake your head after you read that comment, man. Dude, you women don't know what the fuck is going on, man. Trying to wake up the woman. The woman can't be woken up, man. That's right. That's She's and you servant. men can't be woken up. The majority of you men can't be woken up, woken up. So how in the hell do you expect a woman to be woken up, man? A woman is a slave. She's a servant. The word woman, the word woman means servant. It means slave. That's what it means. And like I said, man, I, I'm already setting my spirit. I already know that the Most High is going to kill millions and millions of people in this country and around the world. I know all hell Amen. is breaking loose, and you're going to see a lot of people that you cool with going to take the, 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 the mark of the beast. They, and then, you know what? Just, just cut yourself off from them, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn. Monsieur. Like when, when we first got on YouTube, a lot of these guys that came into this thing, the first thing they said, what about my mama? Well, don't worry about your goddamn mama, man. Right. <laughs> your mama might not make it. She, he might mama. not make it, man. <laughs> hey, brother, I'd be on the phone talking to my mom. I'd be like, I don't know if she's going to make it, man. She's she going to take that chip, man. Even though she, even though she had sense enough because I told her about the chip, and she said, yeah, I ain't taking the chip. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. My wife, I might have to beat her ass in order for her not to take that chip, man. But then yeah. these guys, they're going to come see to hard beat his ass because yeah, yeah. she didn't want to take the chip. Yeah. You know, like Baloo. What's wrong with taking the chip, brother? Yeah. Uh, Lorna Doonhead, he said, I'm going to be online to take the well, chip. Well, you know what? Guess what? 
Yeah. I want to see you make the video. Yeah. I want you to videotape the fact that you took the the chip, man. Okay. Right. Right. Put, put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is, man. Okay. I want to see how real it's gonna get with you guys in these other camps, like like like, like General Johanna and Nate. All you guys marching and parade rest and all that and eating pink fucking slime and shit, man. You know. Warrior training exercise. I'm going to see how much worry you are when they actually implement and force that chip on your ass. Okay? Because we are going to be laughing at you, man.